Hi, I am Sofia Hadir. I work at the Crop Science Group of the University of Bonn and I am PhD researcher of Venerop. This paper trailer video is for the study that was published in December 2020 about sugar beet shoot and root phenotypic plasticity to nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and lime omission. In agriculture, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium fertilization management, as well as liming, are key strategies for high yields and soil fertility. That's why a deeper understanding of the effects of those nutrient limitation on shoot and root growth is of value for plant breeding and cultivar selection, as well as for organic farming and low input agriculture. This study aims to investigate the effect of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium and limine omission on sugar beet shoot growth, as well as topsoil root biomass growth and morphology and their field condition using a long-term fertilizer experiment. For that, a feed experiment was established in the Dikobshof in Wesseling, Germany in 2019. Destructive data collection was carried out in four sampling dates to estimate the growth parameters of sugar beetroot and shoot as well as the image analysis using WinRISO software to estimate the root parameters. The results showed that all shoot growth parameters were significantly reduced due to nutrient omissions. The root dry matter weight increased from sampling date 1 to sampling date 4 for all treatments and thus did not decline from date 3 to 4 such as the shoot rates. The results of the root analysis in the phosphorus treatments, for example, showed a shift from a less herringbone root architecture at the early stage to a more herringbone type root architecture with more interior links in the late stage. The roots were also particularly affected by potassium deficiency as well as by non-fertilization and the fully fertilization. For more details, please refer to our publication.